If you're looking around for a COVID test, be on the lookout for sky high prices, maybe even some price gouging. And as everyone knows, test kits are in demand and scammers are ready to rip you off. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the state capitol tonight. And Susan, what can we all do to try and stop this? It's always something, right? In this case, people really need to know what is reasonable when it comes to a COVID test kit. And in most cases, it's usually between $20 and $30. If you suspect someone is charging you more and price gouging and trying to rip you off, you need to make it a complaint. Most people these days are trying to get their hands on a COVID test kit. And while more kits are now available, they can still be hard to find. Scammers know that. It is never okay to take advantage of your community and your customers and your neighbors. It is illegal to try to take advantage of people in the middle of an emergency. Connecticut's attorney general has received 800 complaints. And while he can investigate those complaints, it's only at the retail level, which means if a wholesaler is the culprit, there isn't much he can do. A Connecticut bill which passed the House last year would have allowed the attorney general to go after wholesalers. But the bill never made it to the Senate. Senator Blumenthal supports the legislation and tougher penalties. He recently got a call from a 70 year old man in Shelton who was charged $60. A crime is being committed on you by people who are price gouging at the expense of everyday Americans. If you suspect price gouging, you need to do more than just post it on social media you need to contact the attorney general. CBS and other pharmacies are good places to buy test kits, but you should be wary of online sites. Some of what's being sold is bootleg. We're all trying to struggle to stay safe. They want you to be safe, and a lot of people are losing their jobs, so it's sad. Especially the older people, too, because they really try to take advantage of those more, yeah. Yes, it can be challenging to get a COVID test kit, but the good news is that the federal government is giving four free tests to every family in the United States, and they've actually set up a website where you can get that, and it's very simply, or it's very simple to apply. The bad news, however, is that even the scammers have found a way to even mess that up, and they have fake websites, so to get the real information on the real website, you can go to the Channel 3 app. We are live tonight at the State Capitol in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.